in the post to get around to the other side of the bucket to avoid the shot block. You want to see them go inside as much as they can because Gary's got three. Yeah, they did get the ball in the paint, but they also need to stop. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode eight of Inside the Film Room. We're going to take a look at Cassius Stanley of Duke men's basketball. Some teaching points to take away from this are changing pace to set up your cut, coming off a screen, and then making a quick read, quick decision before the basketball's in your hands after you've come off the level of that screen. So all coaches, all trainers, including myself, we always talk about having great change of pace with the basketball in a player's hands. And that is vital, that's key, right? To be able to create separation from the defender. Gotta be able to do the same thing and work on the same thing, you know, off the basketball, you know, primarily in this uh, clip, you know, we're talking about coming off a screen. So that's important, you know, to work on. You gotta be able to change pace, slow to fast, fast to slow, to be able to keep the de defense guessing, but you know, be able to create that separation once you've come off the level of the screen, whether you're gonna curl the cut or you're gonna catch the shoot. It's, it's very important, it's vital that you work on change of pace when the basketball is not in your hands. So learning from Cassius Stanley here in this clip, being able to go from slow to fast off the screen. So he waits for the screen to be set. He's gonna sprint right off the level of the screen. Again, that is important that you work on sprinting your cuts. So he's gonna sprint off the level here. Defender's gonna chase over the top. So you're gonna recognize here, and I'm gonna slow it down, how he's gonna change. So even before the basketball is in his hands, he's gonna change, change his cut here from where he's going up towards the elbow. He's gonna read his defender chase. Now you're gonna to start to see him start to curl his cut here. All right, so as he starts to curl his cut, he's going to show his hands to Trey Jones, show, give his teammate a target, and now he's created separation there. So he's created an arm's length of space just by changing pace off his cut. So now he's showing his hands to the basketball, and now he's going to get his eyes. So this is important. You know, don't be one step ahead of yourself where you start to look before you catch. Catch the basketball first, look it in. And now you're going to see, you know, I know it's a little blurry, but you're going to be able to see him now get his eyes to the space. So Louisville stays attached, right? The player, you know, the other four, they stay attached to their uh, matchup. So this leaves the paint, the box wide open. So he gets his eyes down to the, you know, to the space that's in front of him. He's created that space from his defender coming off the screen. Great change of pace. Shows his hands, eyes to the basketball. Now he has his eyes to the space. So once he's created this advantage, he's gonna take advantage and he's gonna play under control. He's gonna control his feet and his body to so you know, have full control finishing around the rim here. When he goes to take his dribble, it's gonna be with his inside foot. So we call that a dribble step. As he goes to take his dribble step, he's now gonna recognize two things. He's gonna have his eyes back to where his defender is. So his defender is in recovery mode. So anytime you're in recovery mode on the defensive end, you're gonna to try to get back in front. So he's gonna recognize that. He's gonna recognize and feel his defender try to get back in front. The other thing you can see here too, is the help defender from the corner. He's gonna just slide in and he's primarily ball watching, but he's taking away that space on the right hand side. So Cassius Stanley does a great job of slowing up his feet right, stopping on a dime, utilizes his pivot. So he keeps his hips low, right, shows the basketball, a little rondo fake, gets his defender off balance and up in the air. And now he stays low until he goes up to finish. And I think that's key for young players, right? You're able to attack that space, but he still plays under control. He gathers with that dribble, gathers with that dribble. So anytime you utilize that dribble step, you gather with that dribble, that's gonna allow you to get your hips back underneath you. It's gonna allow you to control your feet. Now he's controlling his body, keeping his hips low. And now he's going up strong to finish uh, right over the rim and still able to utilize his athleticism. So just a great job here. And it all started with uh, Cassius setting up his cut, going from slow to fast, showing his hands, giving his teammate a target and then taking advantage of that space, right? Keep, you know, once you create the advantage, you wanna be able to take advantage. And then he does a great job of recognizing what his defender is trying to do, trying to recover. So he controls his feet, stays low with his hips, 
is able to pivot back because he stays low, and then he's able to elevate into his finish. So does a great job of changing pace to set up his cut, creates that separation, catches the basketball first, then you know looks to where his space is, and then makes that decision, is able to gather with his dribble step, and then is fully under control to finish around the rim. So just a great possession here and some great teaching points to take away from this clip, right? To move forward when you're working on your game.